What's up guys, this is iTweaks here, and today I'm going to be bringing you the top 15 iOS games that have controller support. Now this is also going to include the PS3 and PS4 controllers if you have the Tweak controllers for all. Now I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to click on for a tutorial on how to use your PS3 and PS4 controller on your iDevice. Now most of these games are free, but some are paid, and there's going to be ways to actually get paid apps for free by using apps like free my apps and feature points now I'll put a link in the description below for you guys to click on those as well to learn how to do that now let's go ahead and jump right into this so to kick us off we have trial extreme 3 now this is obviously a dirt bike racing game you can play with your friends you can race against random opponents and you have 32 free levels to begin with and if you want to pay for the extra ones there are actually a total of 112 levels now all the levels are pretty different I mean there's different types of terrain and then different types of obstacles that you'll run into in those specific terrains now you can customize your bike you can customize your rider I mean this is just a really fun game and I had a lot of fun testing it out all right next up we have shadow blade now this is a fast paced platforming ninja action game and it's got 40 different levels that you can explore and I mean it's really fun I, I had a lot of fun messing with this game uh, everything worked really well I mean just to note if you do buy this game then you are gonna have some issues when you're going through the tutorial maybe some of the buttons might not work but then once you get past the actual tutorial then it starts working just fine so keep that in mind if you're using a PS3 or PS4 controller but overall this is a really fun game uh, a lot of good action and it's pretty fast paced so definitely check this out here we have Jet Car Stunts 2 now this is a really fun game there's hundred and twenty levels now the first ten are free then you have to pay a little extra for the remaining levels but there's three difficulties for each level and there's seven different cars that you can play with and four gaming modes and you can see right here that the physics are really good the controls and the cars handle really well and overall it's just a really fun game just to mess around with and I mean you can see there you're just flying through the air and I mean even on this one right here you can see there's different types of modes which I was talking about so this is more of a uh, flying mode where you're going to actually have to maneuver in the air with the car or the vehicle here and you can see here after I take this turn it does a pretty good job of uh, balancing everything out so you can see right there as I'm turning so I mean overall this is a cool game and here we have Responables. now this is a really cool game it has those cartoon graphics as you can see and it's a third person shooter and I was just annihilating these guys probably because they're playing on their iPhones with their small screens and I'm sitting here with a PS3 controller on my iPad just annihilating and it was a lot of fun but uh, I can definitely see getting some long-term enjoyment out of this it has a lot of replayability there's a bunch of levels there's a lot of customizations whole bunch of different weapons I mean you have a progressive skill tree and I mean there's gadgets there's boosters all kinds of good stuff so definitely check this out it's a free game alright so if you're into dungeon crawling then you're going to love dungeon hunter 4 these graphics are pretty awesome there's a lot of cool skills you have four different character classes with unique combat styles you can upgrade your battle skills obviously you can customize craft and use charms for your gear and I mean there's multiplayer action so you can enter co-op arenas and fight side by side you can also get into some PvP modes if you want to check that out so definitely a cool hack and slash game if you're into those types of games and next up we have Oceanhorn. It's by far the most expensive game that I have on this list, but I would definitely say that it's worth it. It reminds me a whole lot of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which is probably, well I say definitely, my favorite game I've ever played. I've actually played through that game quite a few times, but it has very similar graphics, and you're also going to get that same type of play style. Not only that, but even the storyline is pretty similar to Zelda. And uh, that was a little weird going through, and I mean you're going through uh, water temples and you look at these characters that look exactly like Zoras. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, then just tune me out. But basically this is a really great game, even brings me back to my childhood a little bit. So definitely one of my favorites on this list. Up next we have Dead Trigger 2. Now this is actually the game that I played when I was setting up the uh, PS3 controller for Controllers for All. And 
I have to say, this is a really fun game. You actually don't have a trigger, which is a little different than uh, most games. You actually just walk up to them, and when you're within range and pointing at them, then it's going to shoot. Now, this is a little bit different right here in the sniping area where I'm shooting, and you're basically just trying to defend from these zombies getting into your uh, restricted area. And you actually have a little bit of uh, control over the bullet after you shoot it. And actually pretty cool. Here we have Solstice Arena. Now this is a speed multiplayer online battle arena. So if you ever played anything like Dota or Dota 2, then this is basically what that is, except it's a whole lot smaller map and only three versus three. But this is a really cool game. And if you're really into the uh, online battle arena games where you're having to defeat the towers of the other team to win, then you definitely need to check this out. Obviously right here we have Asphalt 8 Airborne. Of course you guys probably have heard of this. This is a great racing game. It has really good graphics as well as physics as you can see right there. I mean it's not necessarily the most realistic as that car is flying through the air but it is a whole lot of fun and you can see the glaring of the lights on the back as well as hitting that NOS. I mean it's just a really fun game. You can hit cool jumps like this. You also have this really cool area I wanted to put in here where uh, you actually can go completely around right here and I just thought it was really cool so I put put it in the video but definitely a really fun racing game you can customize your car with a whole bunch of different types of upgrades so definitely give it a shot now here we have Limbo now this is a different game I actually haven't played this before and I decided to give it a shot since it was supported by the controller and I have to say it's really really awesome it's a definitely a different tone as to all the other games in this list I mean basically there's no storyline that starts you out with anything you basically just start in this dark area and you're trying to continue going to the right and you have to figure out these puzzles and it's a whole lot of fun I mean the whole feel and tone of this game is actually pretty cool uh, it's not something that's going to be action-packed or anything like that it's going to be more puzzles and a whole lot of fun if you're into just chilling out and playing a game maybe having to think a little bit but I definitely recommend checking out Limbo it's totally worth the five bucks now here we have Riptide GP2 now this is a really cool watercraft game they're not necessarily jet skis but some type of watercraft some type of wave runner and you can see you can do all kinds of different stunts It has really good graphics and gets that water right there on the screen and as you're flying through I mean what this really reminded me of was wave race back on N64 and that was probably one of my favorite games on the N64. Not necessarily my favorite, but one of my favorites on the N64. So if you're a fan of racing games that have really good graphics and handle really well, then definitely check out Riptide GP2. Now here is another free game. Now this is called Soulcraft Action RPG. Now this is actually only going to run well on the iPhone 5 and higher as well as the iPad Air or Mini with Retina display. So the graphics on this are incredibly good. I mean you can see right here all the hit markers and everything. This is definitely a really cool game if you're into the dungeon crawling action RPG type games. You definitely want to check this out. Here we have Gunner Z. So basically what you do in this game is annihilate zombies. And it's actually kind of fun. You have that 50 cal right there as well as a missile launcher. And you're able to customize your uh, machine guns and your missile launchers as well as your entire truck that you're on. It has like a truck and then like an arm crane that you can swing around that you can see I'm swinging around right here. And you're going to fight against zombies as well as military or undead military I think is what it is. But definitely a whole lot of fun if you're into the whole zombie defense type games plus blowing up a whole bunch of zombies who's not gonna like that so definitely check it out and here we have Bastion this is a really awesome game it has amazing graphics totally different than what you're usually going to see on uh, iOS games and it's an RPG so you're able to level up and you're able to uh, customize your weapons and get different skills and all kinds of stuff like that but the really cool thing about this game is not only the graphics, the gameplay and everything, it's also the commentator. You'll hear the commentator talking and he actually talks about what you're doing. So it's all completely customized to the actions that you're taking. So, I mean, that's really cool. It makes for a unique gaming experience. I mean, I fell off at one point near the beginning of the game and he just like made fun of me and it was funny. So, I mean, but definitely check out Bastion if it's something that you think you'd like. 
It's absolutely a unique take on iOS gaming. And of course, how could we not put GTA San Andreas in here? This is an awesome game. You guys know I like GTA if you're a fan of my gaming channel because I played that over there. But obviously, you're going to be able to take cars, steal motorcycles, ride through town, you know, shoot up people, run them over. I mean, basically everything that you want to do in Grand Theft Auto, you're able to do on the iOS platform as well. And of course, you're going to have that awesome storyline, much like all the other GTAs. And I mean, the thing about GTA that's so much fun is just being able to free roam, run around, do whatever you want to. You don't necessarily have to follow a certain path. You can basically do whatever you want to. And this is no different. So that's my top 15. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what your favorite game on iOS is in the comments below. Again, if you want to get some of these paid games for free, you can always check out my video on free my apps as well as feature points. There'll be links in the description below for you guys to check out and you can start doing that to start gaining points to get those free games. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. Also, don't forget to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter for updates. And if you haven't checked out my gaming channel, go over there and stop by and say hey. Alright guys, until next time, peace.